Good morning, good morning. Fear of missing out, also known as FOMO to many. Do you have an addiction to knowing, to being included, being up on the latest fashion or trends or the news, being in the know? See, the interesting thing about the fear of missing out is what we're really doing is missing out on the present, the gift of being here now. We're clearly unhappy with what is going on in this moment if we feel we need to be out there or in our phones, whatever it is, whatever your FOMO. It's really turned into this survival tactic, these coping mechanisms. Because when our needs weren't met at younger ages, we had to find ways to adapt and endure, to meet the needs that weren't met back then. And so we create habits, routines, our behaviors, even addictions. Because what happens is that constant repetition becomes the addiction because it's satisfying one of the needs that you didn't get met when you needed it the most. And so the question usually surfaces, what is it I feel is missing within me that I have to get outside of me? Why am I rushing away from what is here with me now that I feel I need to compensate when really we have everything we need within us? So when we rush off because we want to be with our friends, we want to be up on the trends, we want to be included, we want to connect with one another. It's a natural human need to feel love through connecting, whether we have the same experiences, interests, we have to have commonality, right? That's what makes us feel connected. It's a form of love. Yes, me too, me too. I am that, right? For me, I admit it. I've done it all my life and I work on it as well. Maybe you have had pain and you relate to another person through your pain. That in itself can also be an addiction. That can be where you feel you're missing out on something, but maybe what you're really missing out on is what you have. And it always comes back to being grateful for what you have, where you've been, and the lessons, the blessings that life has taught us. Because otherwise, FOMO rushing off to the next best thing, or so we perceive it to be, is just another form of escapism, hence the addiction. Escaping from what is doesn't make it go away, but when you're willing to sit with what is and confront it and ask, what is this really about? What do I, what do I feel I'm lacking that I can't go without that I have to go out to find. Our adaptability, our chameleon-like reflexes as humans to fit in, don't make us stand out necessarily, but if anything, quite often we go without. It takes us outside of our pain for temporary purposes and pleasures when we still need to go back within and find out what it really is that we ourselves have, that we deny. So FOMO is not a bad thing because it's a tool, another one of those beautiful blessings. An opportunity arises that when you're rushing off, whether you're grabbing your phone to look at social media, or you're running out the door because you have to be at this party or picking up the phone to find out the latest gossip. Whatever it is, it's an opportunity to ask yourself, what is it that I feel 
I'm missing within myself? What, where do I lack? What can I get back from me that I might be willing to sit with it and confront it instead of running away from it? And so our card for today There's nothing better than what you have right with you. You have everything you need. You just need to love yourself and embrace yourself. And however you find your way is perfect for you. And it may just be in one of your moments of FOMO that you recognize how important and truly blessed you are. Prepare to be astounded. That is today's card. So let us see what's... Prepare to be astounded. You don't have to rush off to do anything else outside of yourself. You just be present with yourself. Prepare to be astounded. Send them love, wish them peace, see them happy. Everyone, always, forever. And prepare to be astounded. Love the universe. P.S. Oh man, and will you ever become a big time manifester? If you can be more present in the now, you won't go without. You will no longer lack. When you go within, you don't go without. So the next time you find yourself in FOMO, ask yourself whatever it is that you feel you're lacking and take back that power and just be with what is and be grateful. That's where your master manifesting skills will come in handy. So much love.